Hey, hey, hey everyone, Tankenstein here. In this video, I've got your first gameplay and overview for the KF-41 Lynx from the Sons of Attila dev server. This will be, at least upon release, they're saying it will be a rank 7 battle rating 10.7 light tank in the Italian ground forces tech tree. Though, of course, this is in the brand new Hungarian subtech tree, as you can see here. A bunch of Hungarian vehicles or vehicles that were used by Hungary, and this is no different. In fact, this is one of the most modern tanks in all of War Thunder this might be the most modern and basically Germany made it. Rhein Metall from Germany made this thing and if you couldn't guess it's more or less if I'm not mistaken based on the Puma. Very very similar. In fact it actually has the same cannon. It's got largely the same turret. It's got the same turret traverse. It weighs about the same but this has more armor on it it's got a spike atgm launcher as you can see two shots right up there basically these spikes will fire and forget so you just lock on it's a really quick lock on they fire up into the sky and then crash down on the opponent from above which is fantastic this has gen 3 thermals it has a gun station up here for a 50 cal it's got a coax 762 it's got some hard kill i think apds or aps rather but these will not be active these are not currently active in the dev server unfortunately but it does have those plus it also has 1155 horsepower compared to the german version which only has 1088 and the german version actually gets that at 3800 rpm whereas this gets it at a much lower and much more common rpm which means that not only does this have more horsepower you'll have more horsepower more often if you guys don't know about power bands very very important typically the lower the rpm that you see here the better because that is the rpm at which you get your horsepower so once you hit that rpm you are at max steam full, like full steam ahead and you should be gaining speed about as quickly as you otherwise can so that being said let's go ahead take this thing out in a few battles gen 3 thermals spike launchers it's got great armor this thing's got troll armor out the wazoo it's got great speed pretty much everything that you want and once the vehicle actually goes live we'll even have apds so or APS rather. So that's it. Let's get into it. Now, unfortunately, one of the big problems with this vehicle, aside from the fact that it looks like an LVT from the back here, <laughs> is the fact that uh, it only can carry two spike missiles, which, you know, I mean, eh, whether that's a problem or not, I don't really know. Uh, you know, I mean, some people could say, well, at least it has spike missiles, whereas others could say, well, maybe it needs more. But ultimately, you only get two of them. So it kind of sucks in a way. Now, that said, this thing is really, really quick, especially considering its size, its weight, and all that. This thing is a true speed demon, so it looks like I may have actually went a little bit too far ahead. Saw some uh, stuff breaking down here. Okay, we have some enemies over here for sure. Let's go ahead and move up. Okay, we have a T-80. Ooh, no damage. Can I hit him with a spike? Probably not. Okay, got a fuel tank and got the kill. Very nice. Also, I don't know if you guys saw that, but the ammo was a little bit, or the, uh, oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> but the uh, barrel was a little bit red there because I was firing for so long, and it looks like I've actually carried some add-on armor here somehow. Um, that's a little funky. I wonder what the heck that is actually whether that's some sort of debris or what but that's weird so because this is the dev server i'm more focused on killing so i'm just gonna get off the base here real quick but thus far i mean i'm pretty impressed unfortunately i didn't really have the ability to look at the spike missile like i wanted okay that was just an is2 but hopefully we can look at the spike missile soon Man, these guys are freaking whooping me. These are World War II vehicles. They're making me look like an idiot. They're the only ones who've actually damaged me thus far. Okay, we have an enemy over there. I'm going to go fire off a spike on him. Let's see if that hits. And it did. Got the cannon breach. Very nice. Fire and forget. That is always, always on the docket. Okay, got the spike on this guy. And I got the kill. Woo, buddy. There we go. Spike, fire, and forget, man. Fire and forget about it. More like it. This is the Italian tech tree. Forget about it. 
And it got an assist. Very nice. This thing has actually survived, you know, I mean, survived the Centauro. It's not bad. I'm pretty impressed with this thus far. I mean, it can pretty much do everything that you want. It just kind of feels like a bigger, meaner Puma. And, you know, in situations where the Puma might not get a kill or even survive, this probably will. Um, you know, I mean, it's it's pretty impressive. It's not like a, a wonder weapon, a Wunderwaffe, so to speak. But, you know, it definitely... Uh, oh, I thought that was a living enemy. But it definitely can hold its own. Okay, we have a leopard. Fire my spike at him. Got the kill before the spike hit, but I'm sure that spike would have done some nasty damage. Now, unfortunately, when it comes to the spikes, um, when you fire them, uh, and, I've, well, forget about it as well, um, what happens is they, oh, look at that, I got killed. Let's see by what angle, but they just kind of go on their own, so you can't really specify where you want them to hit. So I said, let's just get into one more match. Not a bad shot. Good on that Challenger 2, 2F. Okay, we have a vehicle here. Not for too long, though. A term three. What are you going to do? Act the fool. Okay, there. Sorry. <laughs> what you going to do, man? Act the fool. Not that that's how it's said in the song. Anywho, so just kind of... In short, this is my last match, at least I'll be showing here on the dev server, because ultimately, you know, again, these are not completely finished models and everything, stats and all that. Things are subject to change. This could be 11.0 upon release. Uh, if you guys don't know, I also did a video on the Vidar, the Vidar, and I think that that is going to, that thing is, I think, crazier than this. Um, so if you guys want, definitely check that video out. But in short, I think that this is going to be, can I hit him? What's the, the minimum range? Okay, it looks like uh, I got him with the PMC. But in short, the Vidar is, um, I think, better than this. So the Vidar at 2.7, or 7.7 .7 rather, is better than this at um, whatever in the heck. Come on, man. Stop using your term three. I understand you want to get whatever, you know, the, the whatchamacallit, but there are other vehicles to use. Anywho, um, this is a really, really good vehicle, though. Uh, I, I could really easily see this being 11.0, maybe even 11.3, especially with how strong the Puma ended up being. This is a bigger, better, faster Puma, which is just absurd. Okay, I didn't, I just want to make sure he wasn't, uh, you know, just on fire or something. But this is a bigger, better, faster Puma, essentially. This thing is pretty much just... You know, it's it's a win. It's a win all the way through. I mean, it's it's really, really good. Uh, and that's really all that can be said about it. I mean, this even has tracking features where you can track aircraft, which is very nice. Okay, sounds like we have an enemy over here. Okay, there he is, and I got killed. However, that's the gunner and vertical gunner drive that I got for him. So I think that's going to be about it for this gameplay. I mean, as you can see, this thing can pretty much pen anything through the side, which is phenomenal. And can essentially just, I mean, you can kill people long range with the spikes. Although, of course, it only has two of them. You can kill people. I mean, even long range, especially if they're lightly armored with the uh, APF SDS that this thing has. You can speed around from hotspot to hotspot. You can be a scout, a flanker, base capper. This, the KH-41 or the KF-40, whichever it is is such a ridiculously good vehicle that it can pretty much do whatever you need. So I said, thanks so much for watching. Please, if you don't mind, like, comment, subscribe. Greatly appreciate it, but this is going to be one of those vehicles that I feel a lot of people who never bothered to grind for Italy, they're going to be pretty pissed. That said, take care, everyone.